Minsan ang nakilalang Pilipinas bilang tahanan ng mga pinakamahusay na bowlers sa mundo. At ang masasabing pinakamaningning sa lahat ay ang six-time world bowling champion na si Paeng Nepomuceno. Pero ngayong retirado na siya sa competitive bowling, alamin natin kung paano tumutulong si Paeng para hubugin ang susunod na bowling superstars ng bansa. Sa edad na 65, aminado ang six-time world bowling champion at four-time Guinness record holder na si Rafael Paeng Nepomuceno. Nariterado na siya sa competitive play at katuwaan na lamang ang pagbo-bowling. Pero bilang isang long-time bowling icon, nananatili pa rin ang pagmamahal niya sa naturang sport at sa katunayan ay isa pa rin siyang consultant sa Philippine Bowling Federation. Bilang consultant, naniniwala si Nepomuceno na promising ang kasalukuyang Philippine Bowling Team. Alam mo, yung mga galing ngayon, marami sila. Maybe one-third my age, magagaling talaga. And uh, malalim ang bench ngayon ng men's and ladies team that are really young. Some are not even 20. Galing. I'm happy with the development that um, the, what the Philippine Bowling Federation is doing. Ilan sa mga prominenteng pangalan ngayon sa national team ay sina 31st Southeast Asian Games gold medalist Merwin Tan, 2022 International Bowling World Championships bronze medalist Marcus Studio, 2015 SEA Games bronze medalist Lara Posadas Wong, at 2021 Super World Championship bronze medalist Norel Nuevo. Pero sa kabila ng kanika nilang mga naabot, kumbinsido si Paeng na mas malayo pa ang mararating na mga nabanggit na manlalaro. There is with uh, proper training and proper support we can create world-class bowlers and um, proper support um, bowling will regain back its glory days. We're on the right path, slowly but surely lang. Bilang isa sa mga pinakamahuhusay na bowler sa mundo, alam ni Nepomuceno kung ano-ano ang mga dapat gawin para magtagumpay sa kanyang sport. Pero sa lahat ng kanyang nakamit, ano nga ba ang masasabing pinakamemorable sa kanya? Most memorable? Well, in 1999, the International Committee, Olympic Committee, gave me its highest award, the IOC President's Trophy. And um, it's ironic kasi hindi naman Olympic sport ang bowling pero pinili nila isang atleta to receive their highest award. And uh, that is one of my most memorable moments in bowling. Of course, being inducted in the World Bowling of Hall of Fame and being in the entrance. And uh, being named Philippine Athlete of the Century by the... Philippine Sports Writers Association, special love yun. And sometime last year, um, Philippine Post um, came out with a Legends Bowling Legend stamp, which uh, may paeng stamp sa Philippine Post Office. It's the goal of every athlete is to represent the Philippines in international competition. Uh, what I miss most is that adrenaline na lumalabang ka para sa flag and country. Yun ang na miss ko. Iba ang feeling talaga pagka ang uniform na suot mo ay Pilipinas or Philippines. Uh, that gives me happiness and of course uh, na miss ko na rin yung mga ganun. One thing nice about bowling, it's a sport na rain or shine, pwede mo lang laruin. And then it's one sport na height is not a factor. And um, everybody can play it, young or old. So yan ang, that is why bowling is fun and I encourage everyone to take up the sport. Ngayong tapos na ang kanyang playing career, may mga bagay pa bang gustong abutin o di kaya'y nais maabot noon ang itinuturing na isa sa greatest international bowlers of all time? Wala na, you know, I'm very blessed and grateful to our Lord. He has given me so much blessings. Now, it's my way of giving back. Yung, I also teach for the PE teacher ako pag Mondays and sa 
UP and that's my way of giving back to the sport and then I'm an advisor to the RP team. So that keeps me um, involved and staying in touch with our sport. Kaya naman sa mga nagnanais na balang araw ay maging matagumpay rin sa mundo ng bowling. Payo ni Nipomoseno, hindi pa huli ang lahat at patuloy lamang na magsumikap.